Welcome friends, welcome to Happy Movie Ticket Booking. Happy Movie Ticket Booking is a Python project which is based on um, booking a ticket for a movie. So before, you know, saying more about it, let's see how it actually works in the output. So uh, the first thing that we have to know is that the in this project, it actually enables us to determine the seat capacity of the theater in which we are actually watching. So uh, that means before. So the first thing that we have to feed in is the number of rows and columns. So based on that, the seat capacity will be determined. So let me feed in nine rows and eight columns. So now we have a menu to show the seating list and you know option two for buy tickets three to find the statistics of the incomes and show four to see the details of the people who have booked tickets and zero to exit okay so let's see the seats push button so here's the seat so in the seat you can see that the seats is actually split into two by a line because we have a condition here that uh, uh, we the seats which are above the line are little costlier by two dollars So that's why it's being split in such a way. So let's try booking from both. So uh, Let's hit two to book a ticket. So let's put two tickets out there and first let me book a costly ticket Which is from the up front line. So let me book C3 there. So it will ask me for the name so I feed in uh, Batman and age will be 30 so that that is dollar 10 value and then then the seat selection for the second one and second seat selection let me book it to be um, G4 and let him be Superman and let his age be 35 so we'll actually have two tickets being booked which is displayed and our current income is 18 10 plus 8 right so um, I think now we should see the seating again once more because there is an add-on feature there view the seats now see the tickets that we booked is being colored differently so that means we cannot actually book those tickets anymore so if anyone else has to book it they have to book from the seats which is now available in white right and now going on um, let's book one more ticket so let's put two and the number of tickets one so from the list is again displayed back so let me put uh, another costly one let's book a d4 and let him be flash and let him be a young guy 20 and so the seat selected now we have another seat selected um, d4 okay and now moving on let's see if all these names is being stored so let's hit four and see all the show book user info let's hit four okay so we have batman superman in flash there and now let's see if the statistics works well uh, let's put three statistics yeah so our total income is 28 that is 10 10 plus 10 20 plus 8 28 perfect so it's working well so I think it's time now we exit the output and go to talk a little about the code coding uh, okay now let's take the coding in here so here we have the coding so moving on uh, on the others this is where this is the first function that we, I have to uh, which we actually see in the display window which is the open opening menu which is view seats by ticket statistics news and this is actually working with an if and elif condition so if we press one we have a condition for zero for exit and one for if we press one it will act automatically call in the function ticket vendor dot, uh, view function so let's see further 
view function so here is the view function which will actually which were actually I've used the uh, uh, loops to print the seeds like that and I've also used I have actually printed a1 b1 c1 actually using the chr um, which is a predefined function which we use to turn the number back to the letters and I also used an increment of i which increments each time that's why we actually see on the seed as a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and I've also used the color function which enables me to color the book seeds differently right so then the second okay one is gone and second menu option here is ticket vendor dot buy so when we hit two it actually will call the function buy and yeah here is function buy so function buy will actually enables us to give the input the input is taken a first input that we have here is number of tickets and then so the current income and total income is actually calculated in here and the current income will be calculated in here and then the seed selection will be taken in and after the seed selection is taken uh, it also actually checks if it's actually there in the previous list actually when we hit a seed selection it's going into a list um, which is called the list cell and it actually check uh, if that the seed selection is there if the seed selection is already there it will show that the seed is already taken and if it's not there we could actually go on and buy the tickets based on the price right and then the option that we have in the opening menu here is three and four will be to show the user info so uh, that will if you so on pressing four it will actually invoke the function user info so let's go to the user info function yeah here's the user info so here we'll actually enter the name enter the age and uh, it's passed on and it will be again appended to the list of self list of person it will be appended and stored in this list which is named as list of persons okay and it so that we could actually access it anytime and then uh, this is the part where we actually initialize the person so that because it has to be invoked from anywhere right and uh, anything else that we like to share here is Yeah, and this is the part that we actually see first uh, at the opening, right, before the menu, and that's Happy Movie Ticketing, and here is where we actually enter the rows and columns, and um, these rows and columns have already added some of the conditions here, which states that if the rows and columns that I gave uh, will actually produce a seat capacity which is less than 60, then every ticket is going to cost $10. And if it's it was like the what we actually did, which is a nine rows and eight columns, then the seats will front seats will be ten dollars, and the back seats is going to be a little more affordable, right? And that's how it will be. And here also, uh, and this is where actually the current income uh, and the total incomes are all initialized, and uh, even the list is initialized. Uh, that's it.